welcome to the Blanca Project. I hope you guys are all having a great day so far. Um, so today I am coming here with some reviews from Dollar Tree and this is actually a collab video with um, just Jillian and I will go ahead and um, link her channel down below. If you're not following her, you guys should. She does a bunch of Dollar Tree hauls. She also does a lot of DIYs and um, she recently just did a video about um, birthdays and all the free stuff you can get on your birthday which is actually really really cool. So if you guys have upcoming birthdays, she has all the information you need. So make sure you guys go and check her out. Um, so the reviews I have for you, I actually don't have that many. Um, just because I recently just started my channel as most of you guys know and yeah I bought a lot of things but you know I haven't been able to use them all just yet. Um, but I did want to show you guys some of the things I've been buying lately and what I've been thinking about them. So I have a total of a total of seven things and I usually don't like odd numbers but for some reason I only have seven. Maybe I should stop this and go find something else that way it can be an even eight. Give me a sec. Alright guys, I got eight stuff. Okay, so let's get this started. Let me get comfortable first. You guys know that I need to get comfy. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to review, you guys know I love wipes. I am crazy about the Dollar Tree wipes and I'm always buying all kinds of random wipes. By the way, you guys are a little bit closer to me today just because it's the, it's a, it's 7.51, the sun's going down and there isn't a lot of light so I have to turn on our lights and this is where it shines the most light and I don't want it to be a dark video for you guys. So that's why you guys are so close to me, you guys can see my whole face. So the first thing I'm going to review for you guys are these stainless steel wipes. These are the bags. Um, it has a total of six individual packages. When I opened it, they're actually all like individually. Oh no, I do have eight. Now I have nine things. Dang it. Just take it out of the video. Aww. Just don't, just don't do the other one. No, I'll do the nine. Give me a sec, guys. Sorry guys, now I have nine things to review for you guys and I'm just going to leave it at that, you know. I have to get over my odd number thing. So anyways, these are individually wrapped and I think this is actually really cool. So you, this is just like a paper one so you kind of just open it like this and you have the wipe inside. It's not that big. Um, let me see if it says on here how big it is. Okay, so it is 5.9 inches by 7.9 inches so it's not huge. We have um, uh, obviously a stainless steel fridge and I used it for that and when I first opened the package it seemed kind of dry and I didn't think it was going to work but once I started cleaning the moisture came out. I don't know if that makes sense at all and I actually really liked the way it cleaned. It took everything off, all the fingerprints that were on my fridge, it took them all off and then I actually just used another one as well for my microwave. I don't even know if I'm supposed to do that but I did and it worked. The next wipes I have for you are these Hello Kitty um, electronics cleaning wipes. And these I actually just used for my for me and Michael's phone. So you open it here and it has this wipe right here. Now if you guys saw my, my past haul where when I actually bought these I showed you guys the little cloth. So it's this right here and it's super cute. So you take out the wipe from here and the, these wipes are actually very very moist. So what I did, I got one of the wipes, I cleaned my phone, and then I kind of dried it with this. And then I did the same thing for Michael's. Now, Michael's phone was filthy. And because he works with dirt, you know, he gets a lot of dirt on his phone. And it totally cleaned it. And I really, really liked that it did that. Um, and I don't know if it's, if it's disinfecting. But I thought it was really cool that it, did, it really did clean everything. And then I held up the wipe, and it was... It was gross. Okay, the next wipes I have for you guys are these electronic wipes. And these I've been using for RTV back there, for the Xbox, and for um, all the other electronic stuff we have back there. And it's actually been cleaning it very well. Um, when I first did it, I was a little bit worried that it wouldn't work. So what I did, I cleaned the whole TV. And then I could see like the marks of the wipe going through the TV. So what I did, just because these are very, very moist as well, I got another cloth that was dry and just went over it just to clean all the wet marks on it. And it's been working so far. 
So, so far this is a good. All right, the next things I have for you guys are pretty random. There's really no sense to them. Um, the first thing is, are these cat collars. As you guys know, I'm constantly buying lily pad collars from Dollar Tree. Now, I really like them. I think they're super cute. Um, the only thing is they don't last very long. I don't mind because I'm like constantly switching them out. Like in less than a month, she has a new collar on. So it doesn't bother me. Um, but if you want one of these collars to last you for four, five, six months or more than that, this isn't gonna be the right collar for you. You might wanna go to like Petco or PetSmart and spend a little bit more. Um, just because the threads start coming out, um, but like I said, it doesn't bother me at all. Lilypad has an orange collar right now. And if you guys saw on my Instagram, um, I posted a picture and she's had it maybe like two or three weeks. And it's time for her to switch it out. So this might be her next one. Again, you know, I like them. I don't mind spending the extra money on them. Um, but if you're looking for a collar that's going to last you for a couple of months, you might want to go and spend your money elsewhere. The next thing I'm going to purchase, I'm going to review are these iPads and um, this obviously is not the original package. They did come in a box and I think it was two of these or three of these. I can't remember. But so you have these iPads and there's one pair in each. So what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to use this once a week and you put it right underneath your eye right here. And um, they do fit right under there. They're super moist. Um, I have to say, I personally did not like them. I first of all didn't notice that they did anything to my um, my puffy eyes or anything whatsoever. Um, plus, they actually made my eyes super watery. Like I put it on, and for the sake of doing this review, I left them on for the exact 15 minutes, like it says. But my eyes were so watery and it was just bothering me so much. I could not wait to just take them off. So I personally would not repurchase that again. The next thing I have is this nasal relief spray. And it has a total of 0.5 fluid ounces. Um, so I bought this for Michael. He gets really bad allergies during springtime. So I bought this for him. And he, he used it a couple times and he felt that... It worked, but it didn't work as great as the one we buy at Target, which if I'm not mistaken is the... So he thinks that it's not as strong as this one. Now this is the big Sinex and this one does have more and it's more expensive obviously at Target. But he felt that this worked way better than the one from Dollar Tree. He also said that if his sinus um, congestion wasn't so bad, this might have worked better. He did mention that he was able to breathe. He just still felt congested. So, I mean, we might just use this for, you know, times where we're not like, it's not like an allergy or we're not like super congested we might use this for that the next thing i have for you guys are dollar tree socks so i bought these i actually bought two pairs so f no four pairs so two come in each pack so i bought four pairs and um this is only one of the pairs i have i first washed them before i used them and i've already washed them like at least two or three times and I actually really like these. They're super thin. They're not thick whatsoever. Super, super thin. Um, but I really, really like them, especially to sleep in or to just walk around the house. I've worn them out too, like with my regular shoes. And I love these. I would totally buy these again. Definitely. All right. The last thing, well, not the last thing. The second to last thing I have for you guys is actually, it looks a little gross, but please <laughs> don't mind it. So it's this foot brush, okay? This is the foot brush. Now, we have not been using it for our feet. We've actually, well, Michael actually has been using it for his hands. Again, he does work out on the field. He digs holes, so he is constantly around dirt. And when he was coming home from work, he had like nasty, nasty fingers, and they were full of dirt, and it was nasty. And so he started brushing his hands 
with this brush when he was in the shower and he would just he just scrub 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 and it's actually not very hard but once you put it on your fingers it feels tougher and it's actually taking all the dirt off so I think that's awesome and we are loving it loving it it did come with the stone back here but I dropped it and it broke off so I don't know how good that is um, but the brush is working really good for us now the last thing I have to review for you guys is my fruit infuser tumbler so far I am loving it I bought it maybe like a week ago I think I think I bought it last Saturday and I'm loving it I do have strawberries in there I don't know if you guys can see them um, I love it I put my strawberries in there I put my water in there let it sit for a little bit and then my water just tastes like a hint of strawberries I haven't used any other fruit I know some people use cucumber um, I don't know what else other people use if you guys have any, any ideas let me know so I can use it and I did get some tips from um, a couple of my subscribers about how to remove this and take the junk the gunky stuff out so I'm definitely going to give that a try soon. Hopefully that works for me. Um, but yeah, this is a go for sure. I actually kind of want to go back and just buy another one. I'm definitely loving it. I would definitely recommend that you guys go purchase one if you like the taste of fruit in your um, in your coffee. I'm actually thinking you might also be able to use it as maybe for tea. Are the holes too big maybe? I don't know. For you tea drinkers, what do you guys think? Are the holes too big? I'm not sure, but you know, this might be a great thing for that as well. Anyways, that's it for my reviews. I hope you guys really enjoyed the stuff I reviewed for you guys. Um, please don't forget to go and follow Jillian and also look at the reviews she did. I know she has some awesome reviews coming up. Um, and I'll link her channel down below. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you are. I'll put my name up on the screen and also down below in the description. And please subscribe if you haven't already. I do want to say a special thank you to all my new subscribers and all my subscribers that have been with, with me since the beginning. Um, I'm, a, I'm at a little bit over 100 and I feel so awesome. I think it's the coolest thing ever. I actually, you know, didn't even think I would ever hit 100. And so to have hit it already, I'm just so excited, excited and happy and just so thankful for all of you guys who continue watching me and continue following me and commenting and you know I'm just really really grateful so thank you so much and there's more videos coming up guys alright so I hope you guys have a great rest of the week and I'll see you guys next time bye